Today we're going to learn how to track text in 3D space in two shots. First a camera rotational shot, secondly tracking a whole comp in a forward moving scene all in Adobe After Effects. So let's get going. Hey, so this is our first scene, a lovely sort of um, camera rotation scene with this um, nice church in the middle. Um, we're going to delve straight into uh, tracking this scene. So go up to your effects and presets panel, um, type in tracker and you'll get the effect 3D camera tracker come up. So just drag that onto your footage and you'll see it starts to work straight away. Now, um, depending on um, how long your footage is, the size of it, um, how complex it is, it can take anything from sort of 30 seconds up to sort of three, four minutes really. So um, I'm gonna speed up this little bit of the video just so you don't have to wait and uh, wait around for the result. And there you have it. So you can see it's stuck in all these um, nice little points, these tracking markers in 3D space. If I scrub the, the timeline, you can see them sort of flicker on and off with bits it sort of can't pick up along the way. Um, but, it's done a, but it does a really good job of, of, of matching um, and tracking what we, what we need. And it's quite a complicated shot here, really. So uh, what you want to do is look for um, um, points to, that you can parent to, and you want them to stay in shot the whole way. There's no point in picking tracking markers that go off camera. Um, so uh, let's, just, let's just scrub through this, and you can see you can sort of select these along the front or the front of here. And, and After Effects gives you, gives you this sort of circular representation, this sort of guide of what the angle of, of the ones that you're going to pick. So I'm going to just scrub to here, and then if you just click and drag, you can sort of draw a circle around a few of these. And then if you let go, uh, there you go, it gives you the, a sort of nice angle and, and shows you the, the way that it's going to be facing. And then right click and go create text and camera. And there you go, it creates text straight away and it tracks it beautifully. So you might need a little bit of tweaking on this. So we're going to select our text. I'm going to, I'm going to open up, um, press R for the rotation. And I'm going to, first of all, let's just rotate this on the Z just to get this really nice and in line with the perspective there. And with the X rotation, just tilt it forward a little bit to um, uh, to, to match your scene. You know, you might, you're going to have to tweak this um, to, to your scene your, and your liking. And then we can just change the text as well. In my example, I just used the word sunrise, but you know, feel free to use whatever you want. You can change the text size. It's completely editable, um, editable text as we go. Um, you can see that here. Um, and you can um, position it if we move it around in, in, in 3D space to wherever you want it to go. And you can also, um, if I click Shift P to open up the position key as well, what I want to do is, is send it back in Z space as well so that it's not right, we have these markers here, but I want them sort of back so we get a bit of nice parallax scrolling. You see, so that looks quite nice there. Let's move this over, or you can use the slider down here. And I'm going to, um, I'm gonna, you know, make this larger and I'm gonna push it back uh, more in Z space. Let's have a little look at that. I'm just gonna do a quick RAM preview. There you go, it's beautiful. It's, mo it's, it's moving really well, exactly where we want it. And you can see how quick and easy it is to do. Um, After Effects does a great job of, 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 of tracking, you know, even complicated scenes with bits moving around in it. So let's just tweak this a little bit, move it how we want. Um, I think I'm going to move this um, over a bit, um, up a bit here. That's quite nice. And um, what, what I want to show you now is, is I actually... Um, I've done a little cutout, um, a little row scoping of this of the steeple on the church here to put in front to make it look like the text is behind that. Now I'm not going to go into how I did that because this tutorial I just want to keep it straight to the point. Um, and it's it's about tracking. It's not about rotoscoping, which can go sort of quite in depth. But I, I did use um, I had to go at the roto brush, but then the uh, the free plugin, the Mocha AE version, worked quite well to 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 just key that out. And I'm going to bring this to the front, and, and you'll see. And I'm just going to turn that on, and it's just it's just just cut out over the front. So we, I I can go over that in another tutorial. Um, but I wanted to sort of stick with um, the topic of of just tracking the text for today. So as you can see, that works quite well. I'm gonna move it further back in Z space, move it up here, something like that. Um, maybe scale it up, maybe change the font. Let's just see what this looks like now. So a quick round preview. Yeah, it looks great. That's yeah, looking really good. Um, 
there you go. It really is. It really is that simple. And and I think what I did here as well is I added a little bit of animation. So what I did is I um, uh, hit, went along to let's say about here just to get a bit of movement of, of, of moving up added a position key and then here just moved it down and let's just um, hit F9 to give it a smooth in and there you go it just animates up quite nicely and, and just have a play you know t you know th these can be used for really good motion graphics for corporate videos anything you want um, and I also you know if, if, if you want to know I just, it, let's have a look at the example again um, um, the here I did actually um, just just add a stroke and a gradient fill. Really easy to do. Um, just really quickly show you that. So it was just in in, in effects. Um, it was just a uh, gradient fill. Uh, let's have a look. Um, here it is, gradient ramp. I just drag that onto my sunrise. Um, you'll get your, um, your you'll get your colours here. So you've got your the top and the bottom. So I'm I'm moving this up. You can see. Um, the, the, so I don't want the gradient going across the whole top, but just across my text. So then you just double click the color you want, say nice red and, and here um, a nice um, nice yellow. Um, and, and that was it really. And then I changed the blending mode, um, I think to something like um, hard light. And I just simply gave it a um, layer, um, layer styles and I gave it a quick stroke. And, and, and it was really as easy as that. Let's just round preview this. There you go. Easy as that for the first shot. I mean, you can obviously take a bit more care. I think I overlapped the sun at one point. Um, if you know, but it's just an example of how you can track the camera, how you can add the text, and how easily it is to to edit the text. You know, right up until until render point, you can add more text and do some more animation. Okay, so that's it for the first example. So let's go on to the next one where we do something just a little bit more complicated. We actually attach it to a null, and we use a comp. Um, um, uh, instead of just text to allow you to do to add and, and track more and we're also going to do the forward tracking so this was the example I set up for this um, the, the forward tracking and the comp so you just see it's, it's, it's a nice little shot just just really rough rotoscoping over the top and it moves forward this time instead and what it's got is you've got this comp so what I've done is I've set up an animation it's separately in a comp now this could be anything it could even be video it could be um, sort of character animation, more in depth motion design, anything you want. But I just set up this little, this little hanging sort of um, swinging motion graphics into a comp, and we're going to use that to attract, uh, to, to attach to um, our camera tracking. So let's go back into our scene here, and let's set this up. So just as before, click your uh, footage um, layer, type in, tr uh, you know, tracker to look for your three D camera tracker, and the same as before drag it on and let it process. So again, I'm gonna speed up the video at this point and um, just, just to jump forward so you can uh, get into the information. Okay, great, so you can see it's tracked. Let's fit this to view. Um, let's just slide along and see what we've got. So it's picked up um, the, the buildings really well. Um, obviously they come off screen um, as we go past. So we really wanna be looking for tracking points around here. So let's let's see what we've got here. We want something that's staging shot all the time. So I'm thinking around sort of, sort of here would be the best place. Um, let's just have a little look. Yeah, definitely. So let's just quickly um, select uh, these see what we get so we've got a nice little nice little point there and this time instead of create text we're going to right click and go create null and camera and as you can see what that does is it creates a tracking null here down in our layer and it's here it's a 3d layer automatically and it's called track null one and we're going to use that to uh, to, to parent to so let's go into our, um, our our project window, um, here it is, and let's just drag out um, the, the, the comp that we showed you before. This this is uh, the, the text comp that was in, um, in, in the example from the animation. Now, this at the moment is just a flat layer, so we need to turn it into a 3D layer. So what you do is you click on this little cube here, and it turns it into a 3D layer. Now, you might be thinking, where's it gone? But now it's a 3D layer, it's actually moved forward. So if I drag the timeline back, 
it's there you see so if you ever wonder where it's gone it's because you you know you if on this sort of camera movement that's going forward it might be behind you behind the camera so so that's a, a funny little trap you can fall into there so let's um let's have a look at this so at the moment um it's looking good it's tracking but it's going forward too fast because it's too far forward we want to push this right back in z space so let's go down to here to our position key and um and, and let's push this right back in z space you know maybe something like um let's have a look we're on 1200 there you, you're gonna have to have a play with this um and it's still moving too much for me so i'm going to move it way back again i want that nice parallax that's looking better i'm going to go even more do you know what i'm going to go up to something like maybe 10,000 and i'm going to um, I'm going to scale this up, obviously, it, uh, hit, hit the um, S key to see the scale, and it's on 100% at the moment. Let's just whack this up to something like, something like that. And now let's just have a little look and see what this is looking like. Let's just do a little round preview. And that's perfect. Brilliant. And now, obviously, it's behind the buildings. Um, I'm going to move this up a bit. I want it to be up in the air a little bit more. And, and again, I did exactly the same before. I've, I've done another little layer. I've cut out these buildings. Um, I've rotoed them out just using the free built-in Mocha AE. So let's just do a little RAM preview. And let's see when the camera goes past. You get that lovely sort of... Um, um, closeness as you go over the buildings. Now I'd like to, I think I'd like to move this back even more really. Let's have a little quick look. Yep, yeah, so I, I'm going to um, I'm going to go to our comp again, hit the position key and we're going to send this back even further and I want this higher I think. You know, all you, your scene will differ Oh, that's a lot better, you know. And you, you could, you could, you could like put shadows on the floor from the, from the, uh, from the text. You could put reflections if it's over water. Um, any, anything you want, really. Again, this is just um, a, a stock, a stock um, piece of footage that I, that I purchased. That works part of my, uh, you know, subscription part for that I use for client work and things like that. So there's lots of this stuff around. You can get this actual clip from uh from Envato. in fact i'll leave the links to the actual footage if you want to purchase them as well you know i don't have any affiliate to them but um uh, it's a very nice clip um so let's just have a little round preview back now and just check out our scene there you go that's looking really nice so I hope that helped. It was a really short tutorial today, um, but it's a really good skill for any motion designer to have to be able to track text uh, um, and put it in there with motion design. Um, you know, we can actually use uh, 3D text as well. We can use Element 3D or we can bring um, um, text and graphics in from Maya and track the cameras and things like that. So, you know, add more animation, bits of video panels. So there's a lot you can do with this and, it, and you can see how quick and easy it is to do and you get a really nice effect whether your camera is rotating, uh, moving forwards, um, dynamic, you know, try it with a fast camera, you can rotate them as uh, the camera as it goes and things like this. So have fun with it. I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you could uh, leave a like, that would be really good and really helpful. And um, I will, if you're interested, I will try and um, do a little rotoscoping tutorial as well to match this. Um, I haven't been using Mocha A, you know, long at all, so I, I'm no expert myself, but I find it really easy to use, or, or just, I, I might do a little video on the Roto brush as well. Um, so yeah, hope you like that. If you can please give it a thumbs up and share and like, and I will see you in another video. Thanks very much.